Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the SQL Server concat operator. Um, so I was working on some training the other day, and I had to put some columns together. And let's go ahead and check this uh, customer table out here. I had to put the first name, last name, and company into one column. And so the normal way to do that, or in the past, the way you would do that is you would simply take the, the column's the first name, and then you put a little plus sign last name and then a plus sign and then the company and then you just run that and you have your column there um, but we have these nulls and you know well a couple of couple of things first um, let me grab I want to put a little space in between the first and last name and then a dash between the company just the formatting thing here okay so let's run that one more time and so we got the uh, first last name and then dash and then the company but we have nulls here and so what's going on is when we have a null and you do a concatenation um, it nulls everything out well in 2012 there's a new way to do concatenation and there's a concat operator and so we would just say select and then you say concat and then you put first name comma then you put your next string and then you put the next thing you want to concat comma so you just keep putting commas instead of pluses and company from customer and so let's see what happens when we do that. And you can see here that when we don't have a, um, when there's a null company, it still goes ahead and uh, does the concatenation for us. And so there's some other things too, like if you're concatenating different types, if you're doing a string with an integer, it'll go ahead and um, convert or cast that for you.